Hello, God bless you. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship in Brooklyn, New York, and it's time for today's daily devotion. Uh, if you're unaware, this is the first of these videos that you found. Our daily devotion series is where we take a chapter from the Bible and we read it together. We post these videos five days a week. You can access them at any time. And uh, the chapters are organized into a playlist that comprises a, a, a book of the Bible. So there's a playlist for Matthew. There's a playlist for Mark. We're working on the playlist for Luke right now. That's the book that we're going through at the moment. <clears throat> Luke is the third gospel uh, in order. Matthew, Mark, Luke as from the beginning of the New Testament. Luke is a physician. Uh, Luke is not one of the 12 apostles that were part of Jesus' three-year earthly ministry. He was a travel companion of Paul later. Luke writes the book of Acts also. And today we are reading Luke chapter 15. This is just a little past the halfway point in the Gospel of Luke. And Luke chapter 15 is... Uh, it's on the shorter side at 32 verses. It's the better part of uh, one page here in my Bible. Let's read it together. It begins, Luke 15, verse 1. Tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. And this made the Pharisees and the teachers of religious law complain that he was associating with such sinful people, even eating with them. So Jesus told them the story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Won't he leave the ninety-nine others in the wilderness and go out and search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he will joyfully carry it home on his shoulders. And when he arrives, he'll call together his friends and neighbors saying, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there's more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and turns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and haven't strayed away. Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she'll call in her friends and neighbors and say, Rejoice with me because I've found my lost coin. In the same way, there's joy in the presence of God's angels when even one sinner repents. To illustrate the point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. And so his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land, and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At home even the hired servants have food enough to spare, and here I am dying of hunger. I'll go home to my father and say, Father, I've sinned against both heaven and you. And I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. And his son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I'm no longer worthy of being, calling, being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet and kill the calf we've been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast for the son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he's found. So the party began. Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. And when he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. 
He asked one of the servants, what was going on? Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We're celebrating because of his safe return. The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him, but he replied, all these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to, to do a single thing you told me to do. And all that time you never gave me even one young goat for a feast for my friends. And yet when this son of yours comes back after squandering your money on prostitutes, you celebrate by killing the fattened calf? His father said to him, look, dear son, you've always stayed by me and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day for your brother was dead and he's come back to life. He was lost, but now he's found. That's the end of Luke chapter 15. Three parables here. Um, all illustrating the same point. And that point is that God loves everybody, everywhere. It's God's will, it's God's desire, it's His heart that all people be reconciled to Himself through Jesus. And it doesn't matter how deep in the muck, in the mire, someone goes. It's always a cause for celebration when they return home, where they belong, where they were always meant to be. And a, a, a mentor of mine would, would say this from time to time, and it stuck with me. And, uh, you know, it's really encouraged me over the years, and perhaps it'll encourage you. And I, he might be quoting somebody else here. I think he is. But he would say, it, it doesn't matter how far down the wrong road you go. It's always the right road as soon as you turn around. And that's what Jesus is teaching here. It doesn't matter how far down the wrong road you go. You're on the right road as soon as you turn around. And that's God's heart. That's what He's waiting for. He's waiting for all of us to turn around. Come back to Him. Hope you've been blessed by today's daily devotion and this reading of Luke chapter 15. I'm really glad that you're here with us and I hope you'll join us again for our next daily devotion, which will be Luke chapter 16. If you know someone that might be blessed uh, by these videos, by, by this tool designed to get a little of God's Word in your daily routine, please feel free to share uh, this with, with whomever it may bless. Uh, you've blessed us by being here today, and we just pray God blesses you.